Hey there everybody, Easy Chair Games back in in this little dungeon area. Um last time that we were playing this, I kinda ran into something. I don't even know what it was. It's in that room there that we're not gonna go back to, and then we ended up in this one. And I don't know I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, so let's just creep on up and see what is in store now. Or dead rats, apparently. What the crap is up with all the dead rats? Oop. It's a pool? Apparently, it is. So, at the risk of jinxing myself here, I still have not died in this game. Um, we have only seen one monster so far. Oh god, I gotta get more gas. Is that what's gonna go on? And as for the monster, it just kind of walked away. It didn't really come after us or anything, but I also did hide in the corner like a little girl. So, <laughs> calm down, calm down. Water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. What? What's too bony? His foot? <laughs> What's that say? It's too far away. I can't read it. Uh, strangers not okay. No trespassing sign, basically. Meat processing factory. Woo! I guess this is like the this is the office, perhaps. This music is a bit out of place. <laughs> Most of this game has had no music. I'm gonna close these, even though it kind of is a weird. Wow, you guys can't really tell, probably, but the controls on this window are odd. <laughs> like, in, like not like the doors. The doors you just like kind of swing in a direction, outward, inward. These, like, I push them down to make them go up. It's, it, I don't know. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government, they make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. Hmm. It's hard to tell if they, <laughs> if these people are just going insane or if they mean, you know, they mean all these things metaphorically or what. Oh man. Piston rooms. Hmm. Great. Wonderful. Just wonderful. So I might have just screwed myself with the whole haven't died yet thing. I can't see anything. something in here 
Barnes this? Hey Barnes this? Are you over there? You hiding in the dark? Hmm. Just gonna keep on going this way, uh. Damn windows. Ah, what? Oop. Where? There it is. Hear me, Mantis. I am compromised. Our contacts must be brief and occasional. Beware the wretches who populate this compound. The way you seek is under the pistons. When you meet the saboteur, you will understand everything. I was kind of expecting you to be the saboteur. I had assumed that. Hmm. Oh, look, a piggy mask. Those goddamn masks are just everywhere. Let's see, is there any goodies? Goodies? Okay, more reading. <laughs> Each compartment is. Oh, God damn it. Ergonormal. Nom <laughs> Ergonomically designed with a feed trow at one end so the product naturally settles into a position ready for the standard stunning arms to connect to the skull. We use the natural static charge built up by the friction of the carts used carts against the belt to build an electrical charge which is contained within glass vacuum canisters at the sides of the stunning arm mechanisms and deliver along the stun arms via copper cabling. We have observed that the artificial lightning contained within these canisters seems to calm the product further. Post stunning, the, the line tilts sharply to the vertical. The physics of which tips the stun product upwards to fall directly onto the hook of the bleeding line. The hook passes normally through the haunch of or thigh of the product and from this point we dispense with the belt and instead instigate a channeled floor which creates a funnel allowing blood and byproduct excretions to collect and run to the fluid collection tanks. Just uh, notes on the slaughtering of pigs, I guess. Hmm. I'm just going to leave that since... Wonderful. So I gotta go back into that room. No. No. Just stop it. No, I don't want the music. Music bad. <laughs> okay. Sending down, which is what I need to be doing, I assume, since it said that my destination lied underneath of the piston room. Yet there's this incessant screeching noise that's so loud. What's that? What's that?
doesn't do anything. And I can't open it. I also can't see anything. This music is driving me nuts. Oh my god. Let me in so that I can just stop hearing this music. Hopefully. Stop. Are your furnaces fueled? I... I don't know, are they? <laughs> a series of collecting vents has been installed along the ceiling at this stage of the line. In the process of stunning and bleeding, the process often expels stinking vapors from its digestive system, which can be collected, condensed, and used in the methane boiler to build the engine as a whole. In this way, the more product is processed, the more power becomes available to the machine. The productivity is actually increased, a simple stroke of genius, but one that encapsul encapsulates the benefits of self-regulating automation. It's a little odd, but... Okay. There's the fourth boiler. Or, yeah, I guess it's a boiler. Okay, I don't really want to go out there just yet. There's the third boiler, which is not got anything in it. Can I use this? Throw some coal in there. I can't really do anything with this, so... Guess we'll just shut that door! Can't get it to go back, so... Alright, well, uh, puzzle time, I guess. Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that. Um, god damn it. Alright, guys, back. Took a small little break. Um, I had to go get some water and some other stuff. So, we got to. We gotta get these things boilers filled up, right? And this third one is empty. But I found coal. Oh, that kind of looks like a little face. Oh. Okay, about this here. Coal. Toss it in there. Got any more? I don't really know how much Coal I actually need to put in there. Ah. Just smacking it all around. Smack around that coal. Oh shit, I dropped it. <laughs> oh shit, where'd it go? Uh coal? Coal, where'd you go? Ah, there's another piece. I have to find that other one, maybe, because I might need it, I don't know. Let's see if that's enough. Surely it is. Yay! It's going. I don't know if that's enough coal or not, but... Okay, and then we gotta go back out here. Because there's more of these things that need to be... turned on. There's the cool. Toss you in there with the face. And I'm I might as well toss this one in there too. And hit that clicker. Alright. And the first one's already lit, so let's go on back to the piston control room.
close that mother fudging door. Because I'm sure that'll keep everything out, right? Okay, the fourth one is going. Gotta go down this dark and creepy tunnel area here. Piece. Toss you in there. Making a lot more noise than I probably should be. But, oh well. Oop. I don't want any. Calm yourself. piece? Or is that enough? Oh, there's one. Hopefully that coal that I lost uh, wasn't a big deal. Just, just goes to show that you can't be screwing around with important things like combustibles. Alright, save point. Probably means bad things like that pig head showing up and that window being open. Let's just close these. Alright, so whenever we turn these on, bad things are gonna happen. I can just feel it, so. Uno! Dose! Three. All right, put them all the way up the top. Okay, this is starting up. Turn off the light. Hide in the corner. Piston's going. Some good news. There was a door over here that I saw earlier. Whenever I was kind of exploring the camera off, so. Let's go on in here. Let's see what we've. Oh god! Oh! Boop. This might be it, guys. If I die, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I'll probably edit out if I die, and then you know, because you guys, you guys don't care to see all that, probably. I just want to run through and get away from the bad, bad things. Uh, let's see. So why isn't this guy... Why, why didn't you just grab that shovel right there? There's a shovel right there and just start whacking shit with it, you know, the evil pig things that are trying to eat me. Hi! 
Can you see me? I, I really hope not. I think it can. Yep. Ah, fuck. Ah. Can't see! Where am I at? Ah! Ah! I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. I'm just running for it. Where am I going? Where am I gonna go? Does, does health regenerate? Um, I haven't got any potions. Or nothing. I'm assuming that flickering means I'm going the wrong way. Where do I go? Where do I go? Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Can't go anyway. Look, I'm too young to die. I got these little kids that I gotta find and whatnot. I'm still just running around this room. Aimlessly. God damn. Maybe I gotta get past that one that was over there somehow. Okay, so let's stop running. found it. The, uh, the pig thing, however, is just gone. <laughs> oh, good lord.